Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel here from intensivecareonline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So currently we are working with a client who has their loved one in multi-organ failure in ICU after COVID-19 pneumonia that developed into COVID-19 ARDS. And the client is currently facing multi-organ failure. Their lungs are not working, their heart is supported by vasopressors and inotropes. Their kidneys are failing, they are supported with kidney dialysis for that, and their liver is failing as well. And the ICU team is trying to push for end of life as being, quote unquote, in the best interest for our client's father. So the question really comes down to, and the quick tip today is about, should you stop treatment when in multi-organ failure? And the simple question is no, you shouldn't, because there are people that pull through multi-organ failure. That is what intensive care units are there for, to support organs for a period of time and see whether they can improve and respond to treatment. And this is exactly what our, the situation that our client is in now. And there are people who pull through. Bear in mind, intensive care teams are not telling you that the mortality rate in ICU is about 10%. That means the survival rate is around 90%. So the odds are in a patient's favor whether they're in multi-organ failure or not. Therefore, you should try and get your loved one out of multi-organ failure by continuing to treat them in intensive care. There is this debate at the moment around, you know, should people live or should they die when they're on life support? And, you know, that is a debate that needs to happen and it's up to families and patients to decide what they want if they have an advanced care plan, for example. They can decide that they want everything to be done even if it means they're on life support temporarily. And if that's their wishes, then that needs to be respected. There are policies, procedures and laws around that. It's not as simple as ICU can just say we withdraw life support tomorrow at five o'clock or whatever the case may be. That is actually euthanasia or potentially even murder. So you have rights as a family to um, determine your loved one's fate. So that is my quick tip for today. If you have a loved one in intensive care, go to intensivecarehotline.com, call us on one of the numbers on the top of the website or send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Also like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the notification bell, and if you have any questions, comments, or insights from this video, comment below and I'll get back to you uh, underneath this video. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I will talk to you in a few days.